Hey everyone, welcome to Illegal Alien Racing. If you're thinking about buying your very first cart and you don't have access to look at one up close, then this video's for you. I'm gonna show you this cart up close and from time to time compare it to this cart so you can see the different parts and how they're designed and how you can basically see that even though it's a different design, the functionality is essentially the same. This is a Tony cart with Lando Norris badging and this is a Sodi cart. So we'll start on the front. This is the uh, nose piece here. It's held on with two clamps on each side. And you just pull up on them. You can take these off and make these tighter or looser. Clamp them back on. This bumper has two settings or two um, ways it can be put on the cart. All the way out is the way we run them. If you run into somebody, this will get pushed back and uh, this bar here will move to this position. In a lot of racing series, that is a pushback bumper penalty. That's what that is. Um, this nose fairing here, um, or the fairing, you can see it's split, and this is a little bit more of a new design over the last few years. I'm not super crazy about this. I kind of like this design better, but this is just the way some of them are looking, and some of them have a scoop as well, which I think does look really good. Here's a number plate, and these numbers are cut out in a rectangle design. A little easier to line up. Some of them just come with the black uh, number part only. This right here is for the GoPro mount. Most racing series do not let you uh, mount your GoPro on your helmet, so you have to mount it on your cart. That's what that is. Looking at the front here, um, this is chassis wrap. This is chassis protector. We'll talk about that more a little bit later. This right here is a heel bar, and I'm going to show you the differences here. If I want to move this forward, I have to move these spacers around. I like the design on the Sodi cart a little better because you can see it doesn't look as good, I don't think, but functional wise, it's better. It's on these rails and you can move this whole bar forward or backward on these two rails. I think it's a better design overall. This of course is the accelerator pedal, and the brake pedal. Your uh, throttle cable goes all the way to the back here and when you're full throttle you notice this right here is a stopper um, it won't let you mash the gas beyond the full tension of the throttle so you don't snap your throttle cable this right here is like uh, i think they call it a torsion bar uh, they can come in different from what i've seen they come in different materials but this is to help with the handling of the cart there's also some adjustments you can make here. You can see the design is different here compared to on the Sodi. The wheels are held on with three bolts. These are called uh, bead locks and you can unscrew these to let air out of the tire. You got to take them out when you're changing the uh, tires and there's different designs on the Sodi. has a little bit more of a flat flat one. This is a three millimeter um, Allen to take that out. This one you can do by hand. These carts don't have suspension so these are steering components here and I'm going to show you something kind of kind of weird. I'm going to turn all the way to the left and if we come back and look at the front you can see the wheel is turned to the left but the right one it's kind of straight. It's kind of weird. It looks weird, but that's the way it's supposed to be. It's not broken. Uh, a wheel typically will lift off the ground when you're making a turn, and it's just the way they're designed. When you get in a wreck, usually you'll bend this part, this part, and this part a lot of times if the, the front here is involved in any of the impact. Uh, this right here is just an inspection tag from the track uh, going through tech. This is a floor pan. Of course the gas tank, I think it's either two gallons or two and a half gallons, I'm not really sure. It's held on with one screw. And this is the steering wheel. This has six nuts and bolts that hold it on. The Sodi only has three. And this piece here is a data logger. It's what gives us all our information, lap time, speed, RPMs, other information. Uh, this is called a Micron. Is but there's another one called Alfano that I think is pretty popular. And 
something about this and I'll turn it on real quick here and show you. You see that temperature right there? That's the EGT, the exhaust gas temperature. What this is telling me is a temperature inside of the exhaust and there's a sensor right here that's inside of the pipe and it feeds through and connects this yellow wire which leads up and connects to the back of the micron. This is very important information for us when we're racing and we can adjust the temperature, how hot it gets or anything like that during the race using the knobs here on the um, side of the carburetor, that front one. We can turn it um, clockwise or counterclockwise. Uh, the side pods here, you can see they're loose. They're not broken or anything. That's just the way they are. Coming over to this one, it's the same thing. So it's not broken or anything. Uh, this is a K100 engine. This is the air box. Here is the carburetor. The clutch is right here. Um, took the wheel off so you can see these a little closer and then this is the the uh, chain guard and I took this off loosened it up so you can see this a little easier the sprockets are held on with three nuts and bolts real easy to change out the sprocket here can be moved right or left on the axle what you do is you loosen up that bolt and that bolt there It'll um, release the clamp a little bit and you can move this around to line it up to line it up with the um, the clutch on the side of the engine here. The engine on this cart here, I have an Odenthal motor mount, a five degree. I absolutely love these motor mounts. When I started out in 206, the chain popped off all the time. I got an Odenthal motor mount and it didn't pop off anymore. It completely fixed it. Love these motor mounts. This is a five degree motor mount. They sell them um, zero degree, five degree, and I think 10 degree. Um, I bought this from Comet Cart Sales and I asked the person which is the best and they said five degree. I trust what they say, so I bought the five degree mount. The way this works is this bottom plate here is attached with uh, two clamps to the cart and this bottom piece here is attached to the engine and then it it um, sits on top of the engine you can see it's grooved here so this slides back and forth pretty easy and it makes tensioning your chain super simple and I absolutely love that motor mount um, so definitely something to look into if you're gonna get get one for your cart uh, definitely recommend it um, this right here is a hub. You can um, widen or bring in the rear wheels and how you do that, you just loosen up that bolt here and this will slide in or out. And this is called the key and you can kind of use that as a reference point or you can stick a um, measuring tape into the axle. You can see it's hollow and you can measure the, the width that way. Uh, of course the pipe it's held on with two springs here and then two here this is a uh, something optional somebody taught me to do which I really liked it makes these taking these uh, off and putting them on a lot easier um, they sell some of these with already a um, like a loop or you can make your own the uh, seat is held on to the cart a couple of different ways well on the seat stays there's one on each side a seat stay and it's held on in the front with two bolts there. These are seat struts. There's one on each side on this cart. You don't have to run them. I've seen people run these, uh, run multiple seat struts on their carts. This right here, this is where the transponder goes. It's a little device that you attach to your cart and it tells the track where you are on the track and you know when you cross the start finish line it keeps up with your position and it's just held on with zip ties as you can see here it's a pretty simple design uh let's see the rear bumper it it can be loose or tight so it's not broken they um they're just that's the way they they're made this is rear brakes only i'm going to turn the cart here so we can see it 
a little better in the light. It's so rear brakes only. This is where you put the um, brake fluid. If we look at the Sodi cart, it's a little bit of a different design than the Tony cart. But they do the same thing. Slow you down and stop you. This is the battery tray. Um, it's, you put the battery in here and it plugs in this way. Pretty simple. This starts it, this kills it. And there's a strap on this one that holds the battery down onto the cart. Uh, this is just for my GoPro mount. Uh, face and rear, this is the one I use. Uh, this right here, of course, is a fuel line and there's a fuel filter that I like to run. Not everybody runs a fuel filter because there's a fuel filter here as well, but I I like to run fuel filters on mine. Just I don't think it hurts anything. So that's why uh, I just prefer to run them. And that's pretty much it. I mean, there's not tons to these carts. And this is a basic overview just so you get familiar with it. We're going to look underneath the cart. The chassis protectors underneath on the Tony carts, uh, I like them because they're thin, but they're not very wide. On the Sodi carts, they're a lot beefier. They're wider and they're like plastic. And these are kind of thin, but they do the job. And I put, again, chassis wrap on it just to kind of give it a little extra protection, try to keep the cart looking a little nicer and keep it in better shape for longer. I went ahead and put some here on the rear end too. This is this is optional here. And you can see it's already been used. When I the reason I put this one on there is because I put a bigger sprocket on and I had another driver when he put the same size sprocket, he went off the track and the um sprocket hit the, the dirt um because it was below the uh chassis here and it bent his sprocket and ruined his race. So we added this to it to try to give it a little bit more clearance. And on this side, you see the red one, I added that as well to that side. So I could have done two of these maybe, but I bought this for another reason and it didn't fit the Sodi, so it fits the Tony cart just fine. And you can see it provides extra protection there for the back of the chassis. So I'm gonna show you the Sodi cart here and you'll, um, you'll see the design is pretty much the same. It just may look a little different here and there. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. We'll try to get them answered for you. Either I'll try to answer them, I'm sure someone else will jump in and answer for you and uh, thanks so much for watching good luck in your search for your cart and i will see you on the next one y'all take it easy